All right, hey everyone. Um, back, Doom. You have already seen me put through this part. That's because I kind of I haven't played it since last time. Um, and you guys are probably like, why, why, what's going on? Reason being, in all honesty, I'm bored with this game, and I only played it a little bit. All right, so. Alright, now, oh, this noise in my ear is just too much, let's turn it down a little bit. Oh, yeah, it is, like, too much. It's like, man, what? It's like, overboard. Let's go into settings, let's turn some volume down here. All right, here we go. Now I put I was just playing some um, Ark Survival Evolve, and I wanted to make a video on it, but for some reason it just wouldn't record. Okay, um, I'm not sure why. I'm gonna have to mess around with that and see what happened. There is supposed to be a new um, update to um, OBS. And maybe once that update goes in, I'll be back doing um, survive, Arc Survival Evolve. But uh, until then, I figured I'd just show you what I needed to show you on here. Now, most of you that, well, the few of you that checks me out. Um, know that. I have a little pet peeve and and I and there's certain things that I talk about when it comes to um first person shooter in VR. Alright? Mainly is the, the controls. Alright. Um now the one thing about this is uh it, it's it's the only the only downside to this control is the turns. All right, and I just wanted to take a, a short time just to kind of, because I'm always talking about it and I don't think people kind of envision what I'm talking about or what I'm saying, but what I think will make a huge difference for um, gamepad, first person shooter in, in VR. Now, <clears throat> here, here, here's the gist of it. Now, let me aim this up a little higher. Okay, right there. Now, I think there should be a zone in front of you. Before I thought maybe just, just you know, like a, a, a square in front of you would be suffice. But now I'm starting to think more of like a rectangular, like your full body size. You know what I mean? Your the 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 width of your character, the height of your character should be within that zone should be able to aim freely around with and it will not turn your cat you will, will not turn your perspective it will turn the character but it won't turn your perspective right so um what i and and when i say that people are probably like oh i don't know if they get it or they understand or anything like that but here is what i um let me show you what i mean so now we see right there, right here, that point of my vision, you see the, the red line going out from this point to about this point. From going from side to side, I should be able to move freely without my vision moving. I should be staring at that level two. I should be staring at that level two and not my head does not move at all but yet that red line goes from side to side so from like i said from here to about here should not affect my vision at all it should i should still be staring at that level two right there now from this point on should then turn my character 
you know what I mean? And then so when I um so when so when my character turns, but then from here to here should not move me at all. It just should be refining me, straightening my character out. Uh, you know what I mean? Um, you can look into the turn as you turn sometimes, and, and that will then, um, you know what I mean? It, it that's because that's natural. That's what we do naturally when we're when we're returning. We kind of look into our turns, right? So I think from, like I said, from here going that way, then it should turn me, and then the same on, on the other side. So from like about here. Turning that way should turn me. Now the up, the fact that this goes all the way up and all the way down, uh, um, it's fine. They don't they don't have to change that. But I think the up, when it gets to about right here, gets to about right here, and then from this point out, it should take you up with it. Now the down part shouldn't be affected. That's why I think like a a rectangular at the height of the character in the width of the character will give you enough playroom to aim and everything like that freely in that center point you know what I mean and then still when you get to those edges turn you so you still get the navigation of being able to turn now this as you can see when I'm, I'm going to go in here and do some shooting here no yeah, that, while in the process of just walking around, isn't that big of a deal. Where it comes in, where it comes into play, where it's a huge deal, is the shootouts. Um, this game, maybe not, what the hell? Oh, is my character hands up too high? Oh, no, it's not. Now, um, where it comes into play and, and becomes an issue is the shooting because it makes it hard. Aiming then becomes hard because when it turns your head and that perspective change throws you off just enough that your aiming is thrown off. But the good thing about this game is this. These, characters, these damn things are so fucking slow. And they walk in a goddamn straight line. Now, um, because of the fact that they do walk in a straight line, I make mean, this fucking boring as shit. You know what I mean? There's, there's no, I, I, I'm not like dipping and and and, and trying to escape. I, I'm kind of just. Kind of just, I just kind of just step back and shoot. Oh yeah, I just kind of step back and shoot. Which, yeah, you know, not that exciting. So now, if they did like what I said, we could do, and and then they can speed the game, the gun up a bit, and let you because look at that, I can swing this around, but I can't aim doing this. I don't want my thing doing that. Oh, and after playing Eve, no, no, I was playing um Arc Evolve, Arc Survival Evolve. Man, that game, the amount of frame rate drops and stuff like that in that game, really. Yeah, look at this. He, he just he steps out to the same exact point. So all I have to do is just they they pick the game where you literally don't have to aim too much or everything like that. But yeah, like I was saying, I was playing um Arc Survival Evolve. And right, look, he's gonna go to that spot. I just have to aim it a little bit lower this time. Let's see, look how, even, even doing this, I'm, um, 
I had it pretty rough of a time. Right, this thing is gonna come out here. Oh, needing me to get from a certain point. All right, straight line, straight line. And then I gremlin. Yeah, straight line instead of bright lights. <laughs> all right, but um, yeah, that's that's pretty much all I, I signed on here to to show you guys today and talk about. Um, we gotta get to the gym, so I'm gonna shut this down, uh, get myself something to eat, and then get on the road. Um, but outside of that. I think you guys got the gist of this and um, I think I'm going to post this on Facebook beyond just the fact that I'm posting it on, um, I'm going to post it on YouTube. And I want to start a discussion. I want to know what you guys think. Like remember I said from here to about here, you should have the freedom of aiming up and down and right to left without the change in your, um, your perspective. So I should just, it should be almost like a, as if at that point, like that is a TV screen zone for you. You know, I guess that's the way to look at it. Like that's the TV screen zone for you. And just like your perspective as you're playing a first person shooter, like how you're moving it around, it, 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 you should get that, um, you know, that shoot. Then once it gets to, like say from here on out, then it should turn you. And then you get to another point and boom, 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 you shoot again. I think to do that will be great. Yeah, I ain't gonna shut it down now. Mainly because I really don't feel like playing through this game right now. But thank you for joining me, people. Let's, let's get this conversation going. Let's let's start getting on these developers and getting ourselves um to get our first person shooters into VR. If we can get, I think we'll still try what I just told you guys, uh, and 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 they put that implement that into game. We would, it would, it would like revolutionary. There we go. I think it would change everything. I think that was, once they did that and saw how natural and how fun that could be and how intense they can then make for a first person shooters in VR with using the gamepad, you would see an explosion of games because all of a sudden, um, every VR, every first person shooter game will now be translatable over into VR. And, and that's been our issue lately is not being able to translate what we now play into VR and um, I'm thinking that would go a big way in order to 